Hi, Math One. This is your homework help video for Tuesday. We're still working on literal equations. Remember, um, yesterday I told you that a literal equation is where you have more than one variable within an equation, okay? When you're solving for a literal equation, they'll tell you what letter that you're solving for. This is the letter that you have to isolate. How do you isolate that variable or letter? You isolate the variable by using inverse operations to remove everything that's over there on the same side as the letter. So your whole objective is to get that variable by itself. All right, so let's look at this first one here. We need to get C by itself. C is right here, okay? So first thing that we need to get rid of uh, on that's on the same side as C, let's get rid of this A. So we are going to subtract the A. Move the A, okay? Get rid of anything that you can add or subtract first, okay? So on this side, you get N minus A. Bring down the equal. This A is now gone, and you're left with B, parentheses, 2 plus CT, okay? So now we get rid of the B. The B you get rid of, it's being multiplied. You see that? So you're going to divide it. Don't distribute it because that's going to spread B out. But to get rid of B, to move B, you have to divide both sides by B. So now on this side, you get N minus A divided by B. Bring down the equal. Now the B is gone, okay? So now you're left with what's in the parentheses. 2 plus C T, okay? So now, again, get rid of anything you can add or subtract. So subtract 2. So when you subtract 2, this gives you n minus a divided by b minus 2. Bring down the equal. Okay? So now we are left with the t. So in order to get rid of the t that's attached to c by multiplication, you divide both sides by t. So t is gone here, and this is what you're left with with uh with this okay so let's look at this side a little closer you're going to divide both this term and the negative by t i'm going to do that out to the side so that you can see it okay so let's let's do this over here because it looks like a very complex problem so I'm going to break this down for you so you can see it, okay? So in other words, what you're doing is you're dividing T by this, and you're dividing T by this. So I'm going to separate and divide and show you. I might have to erase this side, but that's okay. Divided by T, okay? And then you got I'm separating it, okay? Oops, wrote it again, didn't I? This one's easy because you just write it divided by T. You can't do anything else with this. This is good. This is what you have to work on. So we're going to make this into a fraction. Okay. Oops. Put a one under it, Miss Reyes. Sometimes I'll be tripping, y'all. Change the division to multiplication. Okay. And then flip the second fraction. So this is going to be 1 over T. And now you're ready to multiply straight across. So on the top, you get N minus A. And on the bottom, you get B, T. Okay? So let's put this all together. So this side right here, simplify, it looks like this. You got N minus A divided by B, T. And then you have minus 2 over T. This is the answer that you'll probably see as an answer choice. Okay? And if you need to watch that again, you can rewind and watch me do those steps again. Okay? That's the beauty about a video, y'all. Alright, so that's what you have there. Let's do another one. Let's do one that's a little different. Um, think this has multiple steps in it, so we'll do that. I'm going to erase this out to the side. I hope that doesn't mess anybody up. But I just need the space, okay? I just 
just need the space. Alright, so let me do the next one. Okay. And let's do let's do 13. Okay, let's do 13. Alright, or uh we saw them for n is n. Oh, n is in this parenthesis, so let's do this one. So let's look at this side. Gotta get n by itself. So get rid of anything you can add or subtract. This is in the parentheses. You can't really mess with that until you get rid of this. So let's get rid of the Q first. Get rid of anything that you can add or subtract to move. So when I subtract Q, Q is gone from over here. And you're left with R parentheses N minus 4. Bring down the equal. You got D minus Q now. Okay? Zoom in just a little bit. All right, so now... You need to get rid of, you can't move this 4 until you get rid of this because it's being multiplied. So the opposite of multiplication is division. So we're going to divide by R on both sides. That gets rid of the R, and now we're left with what's in the parentheses, okay? Don't distribute the R because that's spreading the R out when you're trying to get rid of it. So now on this side, you have D minus the Q divided by R, okay? So now we can move the minus 4 by adding 4. So we're going to add 4 to each side. That's going to get rid of this. And we're left with n is equal to. And now what we have is d minus the q divided by r plus 4. This is what n is equal to. Okay? Alright. Okay, so all I'm doing is using inverse operations. I'm doing one step at a time, one step at a time, one step at a time. Okay? So let's look at one like, what's another one that I need to do? Let's look at D. Yeah, D. All of these are really good ones. Okay, so let's look at this. I got to get D by itself. Look. So I got to get rid of anything, add or subtract to move first. This is a positive A, so I'm going to subtract A to move it. So this gives me S minus A is equal to, this is gone, and I have in parentheses N minus 1, okay? So now get D by itself. You got to get rid of this. This is being multiplied. N minus 1 is being multiplied to D. The opposite of multiplication is division. So we're going to divide both sides by N minus 1, sorry. All right, so when we do that, n minus 1 divided by n minus 1 is 1. So I'm left with 1D over here. And over here, I got S minus A divided by n minus 1. Okay? All right, let's go to the fraction one. We always get tripped up over fractions, don't we? Okay, and that's okay. All right, so first thing we need to move, oh, let's move the fraction first, okay? So we're gonna move the fraction first, y'all. So we're gonna multi we're gonna divide both sides by this uh one third. The same that means that's the same as multiplying by three, the reciprocal, right? So we're gonna multiply both sides by three. So the, on this side, this gives me three L equals. This gets rid of the one third. Because remember, look, one third times three. Look at what that does. 3 over 3 gives me 1. Okay, so that's that's why we did that. Okay? Alrighty. So that's gone, and we're left with the A, C, T, plus A. All right, good people, look. Um, here, these two terms have an A in common. So I'm going to do the reverse of the distributive property and take an A out of both of these. So I'm going to take an A out of both of those. Let me bring this down. When I take an A out of both, I'm left with C, T, plus 1. Because if I distribute the A, it's going to give me the line that's above it. So I'm doing the reverse of distributive property. You see how both of these have an A in common? So I take an A out, and what am I left with? C, T here, and 1 here. Because when I say A times this, it gives me this. And when I say A times 1, it gives me A. So I'm doing the reverse of distributive property there. All right? So now, to get A by itself, I do the inverse or the opposite of multiplying because all of this is being multiplied by A and divide. So I'm going to divide both sides by CT plus 1. 
So then my final answer, this is gone, this is 1, is going to give me A is equal to uh, 3 over L divided by C, T plus 1. All right, so you just need to keep practicing. Do one step at a time, okay? That's all you got to do. Keep practicing. You can watch this over again to see how I did the reverse of distributive property, taking out terms that are comp, that I like. All right, let's look at one that's like this one, okay? Let's see what we do here. All right, good people, so we're solving for K. So the thing that we do here is we're going to make this into a proportion since what we're looking for is on the bottom of the fraction. Okay, so let's cross multiply. Make things a little easier. So we have x times m minus the k. Bring down the equal. And this side is 1 times n, which is just n. So in order to get k by itself, we got to divide both sides by the x. Okay. Now, this is gone, and I'm left with m minus k on this side. And on this side, I have n over x, okay? Now, to get k by itself, I've got to move the m by subtracting m. So, this is going to give me negative k is equal to n divided by x minus the m, okay? So now I've got to get rid of this negative 1 that's attached because k is a positive k. It says solve for positive k. So get rid of the negative. So we're going to, we can multiply everything or divide everything by negative 1. Either one is okay. So multiply everything by negative 1. So that's positive k is equal to, now makes this a negative n over x, and makes this a positive m. And this is our answer. All righty, so I want you to do your best on this. Uh, practice makes improvement, okay? And go back and see if you can rewrite some of these and go back to see if you can get the same answer that I can get. But please make sure that you study because you know literal equations is going to be on your test, okay? And I want you to be extremely successful. Don't forget about tutoring on Tuesdays and Thursdays. All right, have a good one. Bye.